Let's take a look at exponents with fractional bases. Evaluate, write your answer as a fraction or whole number. Okay, well we have 5 6 to the first power. Well, remember, whenever you have an exponent, it's telling you to write out the base, the exponent number of times, and then of course you would just multiply that together if you have multiple numbers. Well, this would tell me my base is the big number here, 5 over 6, and my exponent is that little number or the power it's raised to, in this case, 1. So this is telling me to write out 5 over 6 one time. Well, that would simply give me 5 over 6. 1 half to the first power. Okay, well, much like the last problem, this is telling me to write out 1 half one time, that's just going to give me 1 half. Okay, 5 over 6 to the first power. Well, we just saw that one. It's telling me to write 5 over 6 one time. Same problem again. 1 half to the second power. Okay, well, this is telling us to write out 1 half twice, and then we multiply that together. Okay, so 1 half times 1 half. Now remember, when you have fractions, you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. Okay, so on the top, 1 times 1 gives us 1. And when we multiply across the bottom, 2 times 2 gives us 4. So we wind up with 1 fourth. Now notice, that's the same thing you get if you said 1 squared or 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 squared or 2 times 2 is 4. So another way to think about this is that exponent of 2, you square the top and you square the bottom, or the, square the numerator and denominator. One-fourth squared. Okay, well again, if we were writing this out, remember you multiply the base by itself the exponent number of times. So this would tell me to write out one-fourth two times and then multiply that together, right? One fourth times one fourth. Well, when we're multiplying with fractions, we multiply straight across the top or numerator and straight across the bottom or denominator. So one times one gives us one and four times four gives us 16. So this would give us one over 16. And again, notice it's the same thing. If I said one squared or one times one, I get one. And if I said four squared or four times four, I get 16. So you can also think of this as square the top, or numerator, and square the bottom, or denominator. One half to the first power. Okay, well this tells us to write out one half one time, so that would just be one half. Five six squared. Okay, well this would tell us to write out 5 over 6 twice and then multiply it together, right? So 5 over 6 times 5 over 6. Well, when you have fractions, you multiply straight across the numerator and straight across the denominator. So on the top, 5 times 5 gives us 25. And in the denominator or bottom, 6 times 6 gives us 36. So we wind up with 25 over 36. Five six to the zero power. Well, remember, anything to the zero power is always equal to one. One half to the zero power, also equal to one. 